everyone, this is Maria and this is my collecting habit. Last week, I received a notice in my email that there was going to be an estate sale near our home. And so they advertised this estate sale as having lots of dolls, like a thousand dolls or more. I saw a blue Barbie case, a vintage Barbie case, and then I saw this case right here, which I'll show you in a minute, and then the pepper case, but the pepper case, the pepper doll case, was in the hands of a young man. And he was looking at it very carefully, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want that so badly. But I didn't want to show that, you guys. And so he was there first, right? And he was going through it. He was on his phone. So I know he was looking it up on eBay. And so while he was doing that, I picked this one up because I knew this was Pepper's friend, Dodie. And so this is it right here. Look at this. And so the other one was more like a coral, the Pepper case. But this is Dodie, and this is Pepper's friend from the 1960s, mid-60s. You can see it's made by the Ideal Company. It was marked $20. And so I went ahead and opened it, and it was empty. And so I decided, well, I better pick this up before someone else grabs it, right? And I'll just wait for that guy to see what he decides. So I walked away from him, and I was at the other end of the bed where there were a lot of doll clothes in this box. And I started noticing that the doll clothes, I go, oh my gosh, I recognize this. And so they were marked Ideal Pepper. And so they were Pepper outfits. And I thought, oh my gosh, there were also some vintage Barbie in there. I found a Tammy outfit. I didn't see any Tammy dolls then. And so I had a bag, you guys. I took one of my recyclable bags from Trader Joe's. And it's a good thing because at this particular estate sale, they didn't hand us a basket or anything like that. So it's a good thing I took that. And so I just started putting all these little outfits into my bag. And then you guys, he walked away with the doll case and I go, okay, I'm not gonna get that. But I did get this. This is Dodie and this is her doll case. And like I mentioned, she was not around. I did not see any doll around, okay? And so of the fashion dolls. And so I figured the ones that were shown in pictures like the vintage Barbies, things like that, they were already bought. And so, but let me go ahead and open it because in that second room, and there was like dressers and bookcases, there were all kinds of dolls. And guess what? I found Dodie, but she was dressed totally where you would not recognize her. I mean, even if you knew her and seen her face, you might not recognize her because of the outfit she had on but I recognized her face immediately and I picked her up and I've since redressed her because in that pile of doll clothes that I just told you about that I got, I had her outfit and I just discovered that right before I made this video. But the case is in really great shape and so look at this. I have a lot of stuff you guys so I'm gonna try to get through it really quickly and I know I'm talking a lot and so there she is oh my gosh look at this and this is the doll case you could see this right here it says Dodie accessories and you could put her little shoes and all her accessories in there the case is in great shape here she is this is her original outfit that she came with when she was brand new she's in excellent condition but like I said the way she was dressed you could not even see her hair was long all you could see was her face and she had like a little long dress on. I even have her original shoes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this outfit is not tagged, but I took it anyways because I thought this was a little dress. I thought it belonged to Tootie, which is Barbie's little sister. And so, but anyways, nope, it goes to this little outfit and it's adorable. She's in excellent condition. I checked out her body and everything. She's poseable, you guys. And so there are no splits in her legs or her, you know, arms, no chewed hands or feet or anything like that, which happens because these are playthings. And so, but look at her face. Isn't she cute? I believe she came in blonde and she also came as a redhead. Now there's another one named Patty and Patty was made for Montgomery Ward for about one year. So I am going to look for her because you never know what you're going to find, right? On this day, I was going for Pepper the pepper doll and I end up finding her friend one of her best friends Dodie and her case and so I will still get a pepper doll I'm watching them on eBay but I'm just gonna be patient because you never know what you're going to find oh by the way 
$20 for the case, and then I paid $2, I believe, for the doll. I think it was $2. And then the outfits, I think, I don't know, you guys, because I had a whole bunch of outfits, and the man, the first time that when I went that day, he looked at the bottom of the bag, and he just gave me an overall price for everything. So I spent $83 on the first day. And so let's go ahead and put her back in here. And let me go ahead and show you what else I got. Here are all the doll clothes, you guys. I've gone ahead and I've separated them, put them into Ziploc bags. And so this one right here would be like for Barbie. There's just an assortment. Here's Ken's graduation gown. I found this on the fourth day on the bottom of that pile of doll clothes. These are all pepper clothes. Look at this, pepper outfits. Oh my gosh, I just could not believe it. Even this little uh, little pet bed right here goes to an outfit called Cat's Meow. And then I got this. This is not marked, this robe, but oh my gosh, isn't it pretty? It's quilted, it's just so pretty. It's probably handmade. And here are the little green booties. Those were on Dodie when I found her. And so these are just some odds and ends. And then I got these right here, the little hangers, little coat hangers. Now these belong to Tammy, they're Mark Tammy. There's a little blonde wig, I think that's Barbie. I think it goes with the Fashion Queen. And I do have the other two wigs that I just shared in another video. There's like little combs and brushes. And this right here is definitely Tammy, or it can go with Pepper also. It says the weekly news. Look at this, all of these shoes. I believe this was with the doll outfits that were on that bed in that guest room. This is so cute. I have to show you really quick, you guys. Just adorable. And so it is vintage. Look at this. Oh my gosh, so cute, isn't it? And then we've got this right here, and it's got the little tie on the back. I just love this. This is Grown Up Tammy. Now I did show the Tammy doll, the first Tammy doll in another video, and she had more of a young girl next door sort of look. And this is Tammy growing up. And she was from the mid 60s. Look how pretty her face is. She has really nice hair. The outfit here was with the other Barbie clothes that I got that I found in that little box in the other room. Look how pretty, so pretty. It's got the zipper, it's tag Tammy, and it fits her perfectly. I just saw this dress on eBay selling for $20, just like this, just by itself. And so I'm hoping that I'll come across the accessories sometime. And you just never know, right? And so I'm really happy with her. And now this doll right here, I did share another one of these. This is Jill, made by Vogue Company, Vogue Doll Company in the 1950s. She's got her jewelry, her hair is a little must, but she does have her hair pins. This dress is not tagged, but it fits her perfectly. And she has the shoes. Now, let me tell you, when I saw her lying on the dresser, this is how I found her, you guys. Her leg was off, her leg was right beside her. And I thought, oh, that's a shame. And then I thought, but I can get her for parts, right? Like just for the shoes. Cause the shoes on eBay sell for like $15. And then also there's the necklace, there's an earring. This earring is not completely there. There's the hairpins. And so I thought I would get her for parts. And then I got home and I thought, oh, okay, there's this. And I could snap the leg right back on. Now it's not perfect, you guys, but I could still keep her. Isn't she cute? And so I got Jill and I know I didn't pay much for that either. Also, I found these just mixed up with the stuff. You guys, I can't even remember if it was with the clothes. I mean, like I said, tons of stuff everywhere. And so let me show you. I just put things into Ziploc bags to just sort of organize. Here's a little kittle right here with her locket, a lucky locket kittle and with the chain. And so these can get quite pricey also, you guys on eBay. I know because I bought some on eBay. <laughs> and then here's a skididdle kittle from the 60s. Look at she's got her little shoes and she's missing her little skididdler thing on the back but she's really cute. And then I got this one right here which is not a little kittle. I'm thinking this is the Sunshine family. I'm not sure. But anyways in really great condition. And then you guys what do I have here? Oh this is so cute. I forgot I put this in here. And so I got this in the other room in the doll case. And so I love miniatures. And when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, 
Look at that, you guys. It's porcelain, little tiny baby doll. And so I went ahead and got Also, this. in that second room where all the doll clothes were, I came across these. I actually saw them in different rooms, you guys. And so, but I did get some of them there. Look at these. These are rosebud dolls. So cute. And so I did not know, I knew about the rosebud doll, but I didn't know there were so many to collect. There's several, I should say, to collect. They're made by Mattel Toys. And this is the only one I knew about. And so this is the one I bought first. And she comes in this bassinet. Look how cute. And so I did pay $5 for this, I think on the third day. And then this one I got on the last day. And I think I got this for $2. And then I think, I think actually what she said, $5 for these and this together. So I spent $10 for all of these rosebuds. I just think they're really, really sweet. You know, when you walk away and then you come back, you see things with fresh eyes. And that's what happened to me. I went out and checked the other rooms and the patio. And I came back to that room that had all the doll clothes. That's the room that kept drawing me back all four days. And I saw Pebbles Flintstone staring at me. And I said, don't worry, I see you. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm gonna buy you. I Again, I can't remember what I paid you guys, but it wasn't much. I don't even think it was $15 for her, but she is so cute. The paint on her face is really nice. Her hair is really cute. She's missing her bone, but I can replace that one from Halloween time, you know. I'm sure I have a bone laying around with all my Halloween decorations. Look at her little top, it's original. And so I need to get her some black fabric so I can make her some little shorts and so like little bloomers. And I do have a pattern for that because I looked her up and that's what she came with and that will be really easy to make. But she is so adorable. So now I need to find Bam Bam. The next thing I found was this Ginny doll case. It looks like it's from the 1950s. Definitely vintage. It's a metal doll case. You can see it's a little scuffed up, but it's really not that bad. And you can see it says Ginny here by Vogue Doll Company. And there's an image of Ginny. It's in really great shape. Look at the handle. Just really, really nice. Even Joey liked this. He liked the shape of it. I do too. Let's see if I can move it back a little bit. Because you can see it really, it does not go straight down. It sort of goes at an angle. I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it goes like at an angle. And so let's go ahead and open this up. First of all, look at the artwork inside the case. Isn't that cute? It says Ginny, it has her image printed all over it. And so let's go ahead and open her up. And so here's a hat. I'm just gonna go through this briefly, you guys, because I know this is a long video. I try to make it as quick as possible. This right here, I don't believe is Ginny, but it's really cute. And these were so organized, you guys. They were just really organized. Look at this one. This is made of felt. So cute. And this one right here. Some of them are not marked, so they may not be Ginny, but Ginny size dolls. And then this one right here. This is a newer one. I think from like the 90s or maybe early 2000s, something like that. And this one is the one that was haunting me all night because it was so cute. And it says Ginny on her little purse right here look how cute and she's got the little hat the little suit the little brown suit the slip just really adorable and only two dollars and then this one right here is made of felt I don't know if it's a Ginny but it's really cute and here's another one this is a newer Ginny outfit again two dollars and this one I found there you guys and just in pieces you know because I was going through everything and then I found like the jammy top and then I go, oh, there's the jammy bottoms. And then I found this totally somewhere else. It looks like it's some sort of ornament and it's a little pink poodle. I thought it looks very 50s. There's also a little kitty here. And then on the last day, I found these little pink slippers. I do not think those are Ginny. I'm not sure, but I just sort of pieced it all together because it's a cute little outfit, isn't it? And then I got this also, this little pillow with the pink ribbon here, so adorable. And then this right here, look at this. This is Ginny, it says, hi, I'm Ginny. And it's got the coat, really cute coat, a scarf and a hat. Oh my gosh, you guys, just so cute, $2. 
and this poncho. This poncho. I have no idea. Maybe she made this or someone made it, but I just thought it was adorable. And so let's see, we've got another little outfit here that looks like Ginny. And, oh, this right here, this is not Ginny, but let me show you real quick. I got this because I thought I could use this with one of my baby dolls like Thumbelina. It looks like it originally had a little button. The button is still here, but the little loop is torn. And so I'm going to put a snap. But look at this, it's a bib. Look how cute this is, right? And then I got this, this is Ginny. And look, it's got a little teddy bear in it. Super adorable. This right here, I think it's Ginny. It looks like Ginny. And so, oh no, it says something else, something Lucia or something. I have no idea. And then we have this right here. This is a vintage, let me go ahead and take it out of the bag. I got it because I knew it was vintage. Look at this. It's like, like an organdy or something. Just so cute. It might fit my Thumbelina doll. I'm not sure. Oh, look. There's a tag inside. Oh, it says handmade. Handmade. And so, but gosh, can you imagine making this? But you know what? Because it says handmade, look at that. I wonder if it was one of the cottage industry outfits, you know, where the ladies sewed them at home for the dolls, for the doll companies. And then I found this in the pile of doll clothes. And so it says Madame Alexander on the box. It's a vintage little dress, really cute. And so again, I could probably use it for Ginny or another little doll, but it's really, really adorable. So I think it was on the second or third day that I really wanted to buy this Ginny doll, but she was $20. So I thought I'll just go ahead and wait. And so on the last day, the fourth day of the estate sale, I got this Ginny, which was made in 2001, and this was from the 90s. You can see there's a difference here. She's so cute in her 50s outfit. I paid $5, $5 for both of them. And so it's a chance you take, will it still be there? And I had already told myself, if it's there, great. If it's not, that's okay. I'll find a Ginny somewhere else. But I was so happy, and so things were just really selling fast on that last day because everything was marked down half off and in this case I got more than half off so day by day the mountain of doll clothes was shrinking you guys and so Jody over at Toy Attic on YouTube and so she told me that these Chrissy doll shoes that they do sell for quite a bit on eBay and so I thought you know what if I see them again I'll pick them up and maybe I'll list them on eBay I'm not sure and so but I got the orange original Chrissy shoes and Chrissy was made by Ideal. It was a growing hair doll. And so I remember those from the 1970s. And then there's a pair of white ones and there's only one black one. And so, but I thought, geez, this was a really great deal, right? And I think I paid a dollar for those. On that last day, I just picked up a few extra clothes like this one right here for a Katie Cruz doll. And so it's brand new in the package. I believe Katie Cruz, maybe that's a German doll. I'm not sure. And so I know that one of the ladies that I was talking with, and I think on the second day, she had a Katie Cruz doll that she had found there, and she was so happy. So when I saw this, I thought, I'll just get that for a dollar. And then I got these little vintage baby rattles, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at these. So cute. They'll be perfect for my tiny Thumbelina doll. I just love these. And then I got this little nighty. Look at this. This is vintage, although it looks handmade but I love the fabric. It looks like it's got little kitties on there. I think it's kitties. And so maybe kitties or puppies. What do you think, you guys? And so it looks like a kitty. But anyways, really cute. And it's got the vintage snaps. And then this little dress right here. Oh my gosh, look how adorable the eyelet. Just love this, you guys. The pink ribbon, a little faded, but still cute. Now this right here, it looks like maybe just a little doll blanket or something, but the reason I got it is look how pretty the fabric is. It's so soft, definitely vintage, and it's sewn all the way around the edge, like scalloped. Just really cute. I thought it looks like a little blanket. I like that. When I saw this, I just had to have it. I didn't even know which doll it belonged to. It just looks so vintage, so pretty, isn't it? And so it belongs to a Mary Hoyer doll. There is a tag inside. 
And so look at this, just so beautiful. I thought, even if I never found the doll to go with this, I just thought it was so beautiful and represents that era from the 1950s or 60s. And then I got this one also, you guys. I think it's handmade, but I just love the fabric. Look at this, it's got the alphabet on here, little teddy bears. I love this right here on the bodice, the little sleeves, just so cute. And then, but it has Velcro, you guys. So I know it's not from the 60s because Velcro didn't come around. Oh my gosh, when did Velcro come around, you guys? In the 1980s or something? And so, but you know what? It really doesn't matter to me. And by the way, the 80s and 90s, that's vintage now, right? <laughs> Which is hard to believe. But anyways, I love the fabric. So adorable. So again, all of these were just a dollar on the last day. And so this is an American Girl doll's dress. Look at this, brand new. I just love that. So this next one is just adorable and I couldn't resist it. And again, for only a dollar, how could I go wrong? Look how cute. And so the hanger says, I think it's pronounced goats, gots, G-O-T-Z, and it's got the two dots over the O, but I don't know if that goes with the, with the doll. They could have just used the hanger. And so just really super cute. It's got little buttons, just super adorable. This is the last one and it is a Katie Cruz outfit. And so it says for a 13.5 inch doll, it's a nightgown, regular $16. And then it has Katie Cruz all right here and it's got a little zipper here. Look how nice the packaging is, right? But I just loved it because of the print, the fabric, the little lambs and I thought I could use this for another doll. And then I came across this hall closet where they had some vintage games and toys. There wasn't much left over in there and that was on the first day, it was really picked over. But I did come across this book and this is a three-dimensional Victorian dollhouse. So basically it's a pop-up book. Isn't this nice, you guys? And so look at the back, Victorian dollhouse and that's what it looks like. And so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna take a quick look at it. So my husband Joey and I, we have been collecting pop-up books for a long time, I think since the 90s. We just really love them. And so here's the Victorian dollhouse. I did pay $20. It is tied kind of loosely right now because I just tied it really quick, but when I tie it up better, the floors will flatten out. And so here's the rooftop and you could see the different rooms and you can see my kitty Sandy there. Poor Sandy, she always has a hard time taking her kitty nap while all the other cats are asleep. So she's up with me. And so, but anyways, it's really, really cute. They had a second one there also. And so, but we just got the one and it was $20. I do have some of the accessories that came with it right here. And I just put them in the Ziploc bag. You can see the Victorian family that lives inside of this Victorian mansion. Also in the same closet where they had the pop-up book and other toys and games, they also had these puzzles. These are made by Golden Press Inc. and they are Play School printed in the USA. Look at this, I love the artwork. They are $2 each. That's how they were marked. You could see $2 and so really, really nice. I love these, you guys. I love the vintage art. And then here is this one right here, the beach. So we have like at school, at play, at the beach. Look how cute. And then this one is adorable too. We have winter. Just love these. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get these framed because I don't want these to get ruined. So my husband Joey is truly wonderful. While I was still looking at dolls on the third day of this estate sale, he went out and looked at the books. There were books all over the house and also outside on the patio. And so the books were $2 each, and he came back in with a big smile and said, look what I found. And so this is the Ginny doll family, and I've already gone through it, and I'm going to go through it again. This is gonna be something really fun to learn from. And then this one is called The Fabulous 50s, featuring important American dolls from the golden age of the 1950s. And then this one right here is quite heavy. It's called the Collector's Encyclopedia of Half Dolls. 
And so these are the half China dolls that I showed in a couple of other videos, I believe. And so, but anyways, I've been collecting these for a little while and I'm keeping an eye out for those. And so this is going to really help me to identify some of them and to see what's out there when I'm out there like at the flea market. So now I'm going to share with you the last two dolls that I got at this estate sale and then we're going to see what Joey bought for himself. And so when I saw this Gerber baby, now I didn't see her till the third day and that's again because there were so many dolls and it was so overwhelming. But this is the Gerber baby. She is a soft Gerber baby. And look at that little face, how cute. She's got the vinyl hands, the vinyl head. Look at those eyes and look at the hair, so adorable. And I love this little soft body, so super soft. And so the reason I really love the Gerber baby, I think is because my older sisters, I have two older sisters that were about, I think about nine and eight years apart from me. And they remember when I was a baby, my mom took me to go have my portrait taken at the studio. And I still have that, you guys. It's a large portrait of me as a baby. But the story goes that someone saw my picture and they wanted me as the Gerber baby. And so I guess my mom liked the idea, but my dad thought it was a scam. And so they said no. And so my sisters, they always remember that. And so here is my little Gerber baby. She is so cute. So this is a vintage Madame Alexander baby doll and she's made of vinyl and she's got the blinking eyes and she was actually in a case with a bunch of other Madame Alexander dolls. She really called to me on the first day. I saw her, I really loved her, picked her up, put her back because I knew she was $20 because she was one of the larger dolls. And so each day that I went to the estate sale, I would see her, pick her up, should I take her, shouldn't I, carry it around, put her back. And then when my husband Joey saw her, he goes, you should take her, and I still didn't. And then on the last day, you guys, I said to myself, well, if she's there, I'm going to buy her. And she was, so I took her, you guys, and I got her for $10. I'm not sure who she is, so I have to do some research. I'm sure I'm gonna find something really cute to put on her, I'm gonna clean her up. I did find this little, this little bonnet, you guys, it's so cute. Let me go ahead and put this on her. I found this where all the doll clothes were for a doll. And there she is with her little bonnet, isn't that cute? And so that is the last doll that I purchased. Now let me go ahead and show you what Joey got. So one of the things my husband loves to collect are model kits. And so he has really good memories of building models when he was a kid. And so it really makes him happy when he finds one. And this one here is called the Lindbergh Line USS Lexington Aircraft Carrier. The box is in really good condition. It says it's motorized plastic model construction kit. So it was $25 and I showed it to Joey and he said no, cause he didn't want to pay the 25. And so I was concerned that if a lot of people are handling this and tossing it around, that the box might break or something. And I really wanted him to have it, even if we paid 25. And so here's the instructions. And when I first opened it, I was really excited because sometimes Joey will get a model that's missing its instructions, but he's very patient, he still looks. And so here are the parts. And so, but I think he said the motor was gone. And so, but I know Joey can make this work somehow. We didn't pay $25. It was on the third day on a Saturday we were there. And one of the workers, she seemed to be in a really good mood. And she had told me, I think with the Gerber baby, I could have it for $10. And I said to Joey, go get the model. He goes, no, no, no. I go, go get the model, please. And he did, and so I asked the worker, I said, how much is this? And she looked at it, and I said, it's missing some pieces. And she said, how about $10? And yeah, right? And so I was so happy, and Joey was happy. It really, really makes me happy when Joey can get something too, because you guys, I mean, look at this. You know Maria, and so <laughs> Joey just, he's so patient, he just waits, you know? And I do try to encourage him to get things for himself too. And I know he likes his models. He's going to be retiring pretty soon, semi-retire. And so, but anyways, it'll be so nice to see him working on his projects and what he wants to so do. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite items were from this estate sale haul. 
Thanks for watching everyone and happy collecting. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.